It was 1905 in Portland, Oregon. The city of Portland was hosting the great Lewis and Clark Centennial Exposition. These expositions were widely popular at the turn of the last century. It was a good place for spectacle, an opportunity for a nation or region to show off, to tell the world what made them special. One of the best spectacles at the Lewis and Clark Centennial Exposition was the Forestry Building, at the time called the world's largest log cabin. Visitors to the Lewis and Clark Centennial Exposition could see a man-made lake surrounded by a massive promenade, a water slide, and even a miniature train. Most of these structures were built in a grandiose fashion that was a reflection on the age of optimism and pride. Although most of these structures were deemed temporary and would be disassembled, one would remain for 70 years and provide visitors with a glimpse of the natural resources of the young state. The forestry building was made out of massive timbers taken from local forests north of the city. Designed to look like a log cabin, the building was 206 feet long, 102 feet wide, and reached a height of 72 feet, or roughly six stories tall. These turn-of-the-century exposition embraced the grandness of the industrial age, and the forestry building wholeheartedly embraced this concept. Inside the structure was a 48-foot tall colonnade made from 54 unfinished logs. These log columns retain the bark of the tree, giving the building a look of an actual forest. These giant trees further required special handling to retain the bark during the logging and transportation to the site. To further the illusion of an actual forest, the building was also lit by skylights. The forestry building exhibited Native American photos and artifacts, local plants and animals, and highlighted the importance of the forest industry. In addition to being called the world's largest cabin, it gained the nickname the Pantheon of Oregon. The timber for the building was donated by local timber magnate Simon Benson. The timber came from the lower Columbia River and was part of his massive 46,000 acre forestry empire. The importance of timber to Oregon cannot be understated. In 1905, the timber industry was the largest employer in both Oregon and Washington state. Respectively, the states ranked first and second in the production of lumber for the nation. By 1910, the Northwest was supplying 20% of the nation's lumber. The forestry building continued to serve Oregon until August of 1964, when it was destroyed in a massive fire. It was determined that the vintage 70-year-old wiring was most likely to blame for the fire. The forestry building represented a time in our history when there was unbridled optimism, and the people of that era wanted to celebrate the achievements that they believed made the state of Oregon great. If you have any memories you'd like to share about the world's largest log cabin, please leave a comment. If you like the video, please like and subscribe.